This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin this lesson, create a box that is 4 inches by 11 inches. Type the text EXIT all in capital letters in Helvetica Medium at a height of 2.5. Character space the text, then justify the design. Click Select All. Click the Fill tool from the Toolbox toolbar. The Assign Colors dialog box will open. Choose Solid from the Fill Type box. Choose Tomato Red from the Selected Color drop-down list, then click OK. Click the Selection tool, not the Color Selection tool, and select the text. Click Arrange Cuts Off. Click View, Filled, or press F8 to preview the colors in the job. If Combine On has been turned off in the Assigned Colors dialog box, the text will not knock out of the rectangle. To combine them, select the rectangle and text and click Arrange Combine On. Select the rectangle with the Selection tool. Click Tools Bleed. The GSP Bleed dialog box will open. To assign a bleed, the selected shape must have a fill color and a cut line. Choose points for the corner type. Enter point 1 in the bleed cut text box, then click Continue. Output the job to GSP Plot by clicking File, Output All. Click the Weed Border button in the toolbar to turn off the weed border. The blue box around the job will disappear. Click the Print Options button in the GSB Plot toolbar to open the Print Options dialog box. Click the Substitute button. Click Vinyl. The Substitute Vinyl Family dialog box will open. Scroll through the list and click 3M Scotch Cal Series 230 Translucent Film. Click OK to return to the Print Options dialog box. Click Backing Finishing to open the Gerber Color Backing Finishing dialog box. Turn on the Backing White Foil to activate the controls. Turn off Process Color Only to apply backing white to spot and process colors. In Application Type, choose Print Shapes. Turn off Apply to Clear Fills and Strokes. Click OK to return to the Print Options dialog box where you can review the print order of the foils. Turn on Reverse Print Order. Click OK to apply the new settings. Click on the Print to Device button in the GSP Plot toolbar to send the job to the default printer. Click the Cut Pounce button to send the job to the default plotter. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.